What is up? This is your LA in a Minute, and I'm here at Inland Empire staple Juan Pollo, which is a true American dream story started by Albert Okura, who unfortunately passed away recently, but the story is almost as phenomenal as the chicken, so I wanted to talk about it. Let's get into it. The story of Juan Pollo starts with Albert Okura, who was born in Wilmington to a Japanese immigrant family. His father was Suyoshi Okura, who was the greatest Japanese-American athlete of his generation, according to the Rafu Shimpo, which was the LA Japanese daily newspaper. His mother, Chiyoko, encouraged him to get a job delivering the San Pedro News Pilot, which enabled him to save money, but perhaps more importantly, exposed him to the local fast food restaurants such as Der Wiener Schnitzel and Taco Bell, and fast food would become an infatuation of Albert's as he grew up. That infatuation led to some managerial positions at fast food restaurants, including Burger King and Del Taco. While serving as the manager at that Del Taco, an El Pollo Loco opened across the street in 1981, and he was impressed by the chain's charbroiled chicken and the simplicity of their operations, not to mention the lines that were constantly outside the restaurant. Albert wanted to open his own charbroiled chicken restaurant, but his friend, business partner, and brother-in-law, Alfredo Parra, told him that in Chihuahua, Mexico, many rotisserie-style chicken restaurants were succeeding. Okura saved up enough money to open his own restaurant, and in January of 1984, he opened the first Juan Pollo in Ontario. There was a wild grand opening, but the total take from the day was only $165, so he spent the next couple weeks working on the chicken sizes, the cooking time, and the temperatures. Within a year, he had perfected the recipe. In fact, the San Bernardino Sun wrote such a positive review of the restaurant that Okura was able to open his second location by January of 1986. From there, it was on, and Okura was known as King Chicken in the San Bernardino and Inland Empire region. By 1998, Okura's fast food fascination and success enabled him to purchase the original McDonald's in San Bernardino, which he turned into a museum and the Juan Pollo headquarters. The location on Route 66 led Okura to be very involved in the community and the restoration of the route, including hosting a Veterans Day Parade and car show in front of the McDonald's Museum. In 2005, Okura purchased an entire town, a ghost town called Amboy. Okura had plans to renovate the town, adding a museum and making a destination for those interested in Route 66. But overall, Okura was dedicated to Juan Pollo with some great marketing, a funny and recognizable mascot, and a fantastic environment where many of his employees became owner-operators. Okura's legacy is strong with 28 locations of Juan Pollo. Juan Pollo started by Albert Okura, a true American dream story and some of the best rotisserie chicken around. It's worth making the trip from Los Angeles to check it out. All right, LA, it's been a minute.